Sam Raimi wants to direct another Spider-Man movie. Alright, so for those who don't know, way back, must have been was it 2009, 2010, Sam Raimi told me where Kirsten Dunst were going to come back for a fourth Spider-Man film, and it didn't happen. Issues were that uh, Sam Raimi wanted Dr. Kirk Connors, Dylan Baker, to become the lizard in it. And James Vanderbilt was writing the script. Sam Raimi wasn't very happy with the script and the several drafts, rewrites that came afterwards. Because Spider-Man 3 was an absolute disaster. And Sam Raimi wanted to bring Spider-Man 4 back to its roots. He wanted it to be gritty and fun like the first two movies where he didn't want to make the same mistakes as the third movie. And the deadline date was approaching for the release. And they hadn't even started filming. So Sam Raimi basically just said to Sony um, that he's not going to be able to make the film that he wants to make on time. And encourage them to go ahead with their reboot, which was obviously Mark Webb's The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. So they left on amicable terms, which was a good thing actually. It wasn't like he was saying, oh, fuck you, fuck that, oh, you're all dicks. That didn't happen. It was more or less to give it a, a mutual understanding and agreement, you know. But, because of Spider-Man No Way Home, the multiverse. Uh, so, Toby and Andrew's Spider-Man movies are now canon. In their own universe, they are canon now. And they're connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, this does not rule out that um, this, this means that the... A fourth Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, and Sam Raimi directing is entirely possible. Uh, Sony has spoken about it, just saying uh, it was kind of weird to say that it's not up to them or something. You know, uh, I think right now they want to get Tom Holland's movies done out of the way. I'd say a Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire is possible, but I'd say that's probably somewhere down the road. And um, whether Toby would come back or not, or whether Andrew Garfield would be interested in coming back. You know, I don't think he is, Andrew. Toby, maybe. But I feel like Spider-Man No Way Home, it gave us the closure that um, we all needed from Toby and Andrew's movies. The closure we never got. Well, it's interesting that Sam Raimi wants to come back. Turns out that, and this is new to me, I didn't know this till the other day. He wanted Craven the Hunter to be the villain. Craven the Hunter is a guy that, uh, he's kind of like the Punisher. But uh, he's, he's more of a mutant, I think. And in the comics, in the, in the comics, he basically is hired to take down Spider-Man, capture him. And I think he thinks that Spider-Man's the bad guy. But this would have been inter- this would be interesting to see that on screen, you know, Craven the Hunter and Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. You know, I, I think that would be more that would be hilarious to see them two going at each other. I think was it Sony they wanted the Vulture to be the main villain of Spider-Man Four. Then they wanted to add a new character, Vulture S. And there is no vulture S, you know, in the comics. You know, that, we don't need that there. But that would have been interesting to see that all play out in screen. You know, where that would have gone, you know, that would have led to. Uh, Anna Hathaway was going to play her. And I think they wanted her to play Black Cat. They were going to bring Black Cat in the Spider-Man 4. And then they changed it to one of their play vultures. Uh, is it true that they're actually like, they're getting Aaron Taylor Johnson to play him? You know, I didn't really like that because he already played Quicksilver. But now with the multiverse, you know, <laughs> they could probably turn around and say the multiverse, I don't know if it's possible, in the, in the MCU's timeline, Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson was a uh, Quicksilver, Peter Maximoff, or Petro Maximoff, whereas this is a uh, Craven Hunter from another universe, and Aaron Taylor Johnson is playing him. This is what they're. Griffin Hunter looks like. <laughs> I imagine, you know, if um, if they go ahead and make this Craver the Hunter movie, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Johnson plays him, and then he meets Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda <laughs> in a crossover. Like, or, like is she going to be like, you know, you look a lot like my brother. You do. I'm your brother from another mother. I'm from another universe. 